Well, it's a little windy out here. It's not too bad, probably five or 10 miles an hour. And uh, I'm out here at this dock with uh, a few friends. Yeah, these are, these are big giant pelicans. I'm about uh, 12 feet from that one, <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> they act like they want to fly away if I get too close to them. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can zoom in. I mean, let's see if I can turn this thing around and let's try that, which I can. Yeah, they're wondering how close I'm coming. Hopefully my hand is covering the microphone so you're not getting too much wind. But uh, this is just outside of our RV park called Torrey Island. Um, I think it's Torrey Island RV Park. It's basically a fisherman's camp. When I say camp, they got, I don't know, well over a hundred uh, play to pull your RV and, uh, and actually you can see some of them right over there and the other thing I wanted to say about this is uh, there's my wife up there <laughs> she's messed with that pelican at the end <laughs> but, uh, but it's pretty neat um, something different they don't have a lot of activities like the other um, like the other place did but uh, they've got other things if you've got a boat this is a great place uh, to, to have your boat because you can put your boat in here at the marina and then take your boat right on over to your campsite because almost every campsite has got water access and this is the south end of Lake Okeechobee here in Florida. Well here we are again we're walking around this park What's the name of this park anyway? Now you probably see it in the caption. I'm gonna tell you the name of this park. Um, but it is, uh, we're at south side of Lake Okeechobee. Um, I like it. Uh, this is a, a park, it's built, it's built for bass fishermen. It's got all kinds of places like this. Inlets that go down that way there. And you got RV parking on the other side. My place is that way, it's got one behind it. But uh, there's lots of areas like this that's got the overgrowth. And there's lots of overgrowth. Like this one. They tell you they don't want anybody out there swimming in it because they say, well, this is, there's like alligators out here. Keep her near the swamp. Well, we are south of Okeechobee. So from here south is considered Florida Everglades. Yeah, there's some snakes and all kinds of things going on there. So you don't want to do that. But we're going to continue to walk around this park a little bit and see if I got anything else to uh, show you. <laughs> so I was just telling my wife how different RV parks are. Um, like the one we just did at the Crystal Lake, it is it is got um, the really everyone's really close together. There's not a lot of nature. You can hear the interstate, um, but there's a lot of programs that are going on with that within that park. So you know, if you want to ride your golf cart around, it's a great place to do that. But now this place here's a more center for people who also have a fishing boat. So you get your fishing boat out. And you come here and you you're, you get access to Lake Okeechobee and then you got all the marshlands here which I'm about to walk yeah, that's pretty in it <laughs> I'm about to walk that way we're gonna walk up that way and then maybe to the end till where it bends and turn around and come back and and we are I can still see my RV over there <laughs> my RV is about 200 yards from me that that way it's about 200 yards but uh, yeah, they're all just so different. Hopefully we're, we'll get out here around the corner and uh, watch the sunset. Who knows, we might actually wake up in the morning and actually watch the sunrise. <laughs> it could happen. It really could. Right now we're walking down the park. We're actually just outside the, the uh, RV park, which is, well, you can see some RVs over there. <laughs> it was actually inside the park, but outside the park. It's kind of funny trying to get here. It's got that drawbridge, which is a one-way street. And, but uh, today, uh, we, I say that to say it's pretty exclusive as far as who can come up in here and who can't because there's no permanent housing on this side of the drawbridge. And then uh, they've got all the, the lake portions running around uh, in and out of the uh, like small lagoons all over the uh, around the, the park. Now right here behind us as you see they're actually having a cornhole tournament. It's actually something the city of Belle Glade has sponsored because this is actually what they call Bell Blade Park and they've got a uh, pavilion right there you can see right there above my cup there's a pavilion there's a band playing there they're getting warmed up we're having a get together here from about um, 
noon to six, I think is what it's scheduled for. So you have a whole lot of cornhole tournaments in for, 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 for uh, six hours. But uh, we're just here hanging out, having a drink. And this is not alcoholic, amazingly enough. <laughs> but uh, uh, we may get in on some of that. Anyway, something to do here in Bell Glade, Florida. Well, alrighty then. I guess I'll close out this video of the uh, RV park in um, Bell Glade uh, called uh, Torrey Island RV Park. Uh, really nice park. It's especially good, at, like I, I kept mentioning, if you've got a boat, this is a great RV park. If you're into it for all the festivities or programs this is not so much but i will say this everyone there was really friendly it's a good place to walk ride your golf cart um you could definitely do that there the uh, restroom facilities were clean i took a shower there just about every morning um inside the uh, their, their shower rooms uh, so didn't have any issues at all there um the uh trash pickup uh was good i will say this because of how they're sitting there is a uh, they put everything into all the sewage goes into one big dump site basically I, I assume I don't know exactly how it works but there's definitely a big truck that comes in there every day and boy does it make some racket <laughs> and it's there about three hours of the day at least that I could tell maybe even all day someone said it comes in and out several times a day but and that, that's that's his only route uh, so he, he goes there and he sucks what he can up out of their big systems and and takes it back to wherever he takes it to the sewage treatment center i guess i don't know but anyway that was that was unusual i hadn't seen that before i'm guess other rv parks might have that especially when they're out in the middle of nowhere because the great thing about that park you can go out there on the end of the dock and if you hear anything running it's from local cars or boats you're not going to hear the interstate so that's really good there's there's a whole lot of rv parks that are right next to the interstate and they're Actually, this uh, harvest host we're at right now, I can look out there and see a, not an interstate, but it's a pretty busy state highway. It's four lanes, so, and it's about, uh, I don't know, 500 yards from me, so you can definitely hear it. But uh, but that place there at uh, Torrey Island, no, it's it, it was real nice. We like that about that park. Uh, may go back and be there again. I don't know. We'll see. One thing we always try to do when we're out, uh, and we have been, uh, is... If it's Sunday, we try to go to a local church, and uh, and we we want to plug into our own church here via the internet, but we haven't haven't really done that just yet. I will say this, but we have enjoyed going to local churches. Um, we found we've been to uh, oh, maybe three, I guess, uh, so far, maybe four, something like that. Uh, different churches uh, outside of the park. Uh, been to one in maybe yeah, one inside of one of the parks. Um, there in Sarasota, but uh, the last one we went to, we met some really a really nice couple from uh, South Carolina, Ron and Bev, and uh, we met up with them later. Um, played some dominoes with them one night, and then we went to a, a tiki bar owned by Roland Martin over in it's called, I think it's called the Tiki Hut or something like that. It's in Scott's Tiki Hut in Clouston, uh, Florida, it, which is it's still down here at the south end of uh, Lake Okeechobee. It was a real good time. So. So, you know, getting out and, and being adventurous and going to those churches is, is something we enjoy. At least I, I definitely know I enjoy it. And uh, we try to find a, a church that's most closely related to like the one we have at home. Uh, so we, we do, do our research online and we, we try to find something that looks the most like that church. We try to, uh, not always. Sometimes we just get invited to a church. Like we, we got invited to a church while we was in Wachula and, um, uh, we went ahead and went there and it just so happened they kind of reminded us of our church back at home just the way they go about their business and their setup and just different things um uh, definitely they could use some improvement and i think maybe they probably got some ideas that we could be using for our church also but uh that's what's great about traveling and exploring is being able to go to and uh see those different things but uh like I said, I won't close out this video. Hope you uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and hope you enjoy the video. And be sure to send this to your friends. And um, and you might want to come to this park if you happen to be down here in the in the south south end of Florida. So we're just out here, just trying to live the coolest life.